Hello and welcome to my Usher F64 USB V2 wheel review. In this video I'm going to compare it mainly to my previous wheel, the Fanatec Formula rim, which I upgraded uh, with the uh, Botnar board so I could have a separate USB. And I also upgraded it with uh, the Usher shifter kit. So I have Usher shifters on my uh, Formula wheel. You can see they are a tiny bit closer on the F64 USB V2 and you have a, a bit more room on the formula rim. The formula rim is 270 millimeters and the usher wheel is 285 millimeters. That's the, the main reason why I wanted to, to upgrade to see how that uh, would feel. Here you have uh, the weight of the wheel, 1550 grams. And here is the Fanatec wheel with Usher shifters and that weighs about 1.2 kilos with uh, the wheel adapter on the back. I also upgraded my Simric with the Simicube 2 SQR quick release. So I have uh, the wheel side of the quick release also on the, the Usher wheel. And here let's compare uh, how the buttons sound of the Usher wheel compared to the Fanatec. The buttons are uh, a bit mushy but they are a bit heavier to push. It's not really a, a big difference in uh, what's better or worse. The construction around the button looks a bit the same, but uh, it's, it's a tiny bit different. Also the play of the pit stop uh, button, there's a lot of play on the cover. It's luckily not there on the Usher. The actuation is pretty deep, so you have to press it well in order to get it uh, to register. Here are some more normal buttons on the, the Usher wheel. It's nice that the F64 has some, uh, some more buttons than the Fanatec, especially more encoders and rotaries. The detent steps are a bit uh, bigger than on the Fanatec type uh, rotaries. They feel okay, but they're not crazy amazing. And the sound feedback is, is barely there, but you can hear them. This is a Fanatec style uh, rotary and four way push button. But uh, the 12 position switch, it's, uh, which is coming up next. Let's wait a while. Ooh, here they are. That's that's the nicest part of the buttons of the wheel. These have really a positive click. They, they feel great. They feel amazing. I wish there were like six of those uh, instead of uh, the two red and black rotaries. They really feel substantial. That's uh, it's, it's much better than the rest of the buttons. Not all of the the values uh, align correctly though, but it's uh, a small thing, but uh, I like to show everything. But those rotaries, they are really nice. There we have a, a normal rotary again, which also has a, a push button. All of the rotaries also are a push button. So it's called the F64 for a reason, because it has uh, 64 uh, buttons or inputs. But already 24 of them go to the 12 position rotary encoder, so it will depend on what game you use, uh, how useful they are. And it also might not work in every game. But there's an option in the configuration software of the wheel to change it to a normal encoder. So it's just plus and minus. So you can do plus minus traction control ABS or anything you want on those. Now let's have a look at the, the back side of the wheel. That's how it looks with the SQR adapter plate and the Simicube uh, 2 quick release. This way you can get a real short shaft. So there's not much flex on your uh, motor axis. 
the longer it gets, uh, the more flex you get on your brackets and uh, motor. And it, it really helps a lot uh, if you don't use the 30 millimeter uh, extension from uh, Simicube. Here's the, the clutch, the shifters, and I also show you the tolerances and movement of the shifters, which I had some uh, complaints about on the Fanatec uh, upgrade I did. They sent me another pair back then, which had really great tolerances, and it seems like the, the tolerances of the shifter have gone back a tiny bit, which uh, I'll show later when I compare it again to the Fanatec shifters. The clutches uh, are nice though. Here you can see there's a, a bit of wobble. I'm being very critical here. Lots of other high-end wheel manufacturers of even double the price of this wheel sometimes do uh, a lot worse. And also the cable routing on high-end wheels. This, this is still great work, but uh, I would still like them to improve the shifter tolerances or constriction to make it better. And here is the Fanatec wheel with uh, the Usher upgrade uh, shifter set. You can see at the top where you shift mostly uh, with the Fanatec formula wheel rim, there's uh, almost zero play on that. It's like solid. The bottom has a bit of wobble though. But uh, on the new Usher wheel I have, uh, it's about the same wobble on both sides. It's okay-ish, but it, it could be better. Even these are, are not perfect, but uh, I'm being very critical here. These are great shifters and they are very solid, especially compared to competitors. Most reviewers, they, they don't really go nuts on these details like, like, like that, but I like to show them. And the most fun part is most people won't even notice it while using their wheel and most of them would even claim like, oh mine doesn't do that. Uh, I really love that sentence when, when you talk about problems of uh, like using a low recon filter on uh, the Simicube for example, they say, uh, oh uh, no, it's completely smooth with the uh, recon one, but uh, there's so much noise and grain in the signal that, that it's absolutely not, uh, you know, the people are talking, uh, you know what. And another great sweet part about this wheel, which I didn't think of uh, that it would be that great, but these rubber molded grips, they, they're really great. They feel great in the hand. They, they all have like the perfect stiffness. They're not totally hard. They're a tiny bit flexible, but they, they feel so sweet. And the, the way they transfer the force feedback back in your hands and then the stiffness of the, the wheel and the, the back cover, that's also CNC out of one part it really transforms the whole four seat back experience to a whole new level. And now let's go to the mounting of the wheel onto the, the base and quick release. Here you can see you have to uh, be really careful not to scratch the shifters and gently slide it on. There's only like one way to get it on with this uh, very short uh, SQR adapter. And that is with the wheel side quick release mounted uh, in exact this position on the wheel uh, in the pictures uh, I show on screen now. Another thing I would like to mention is that uh, the cable and connector that comes with the wheel, the, the connector is nice and high quality and it needs to be long in order to, to clear the, the clutches. But sadly the, the cable is not as the pictures uh, they have on the website, which I just show on screen. The, the coil starts after a long straight piece instead of uh, exactly right behind uh, the connector which would have uh, given a bit more easy freedom movement as you can see here. Now it slightly rubs against uh, the face plate uh, where the motor is on. I already changed the bolt to really flat ones to have uh, as free as possible cable movement. movement. But apart from that, I really like the, the short shaft. It's, it's so stiff and rigid. It really helps with uh, the force feedback. 
So that's basically all the quirks uh, I wanted uh, to talk about. Overall, uh, for me, it's uh, a great upgrade. The wheel feels great. The force feedback delivery is much better than with my previous wheel. Also, the increased size, it's, it's nice. It's not too big. I always like small wheels, but this is definitely a, a step I wanted to take. And I also think the, the size helps with uh, yeah, more movement at the ends, so your force feedback it, it gets more movement, so the, the so it's uh, easier to feel the details. And what I'm also going to do is include some more videos in the video description with m some more elaborate button testing, uh, wobbling of the buttons and showing the tolerances. So if you're interested uh, in that, look for the link in the video description to get even more details on how the buttons uh, on this wheel uh, move and feel but overall i am happy with my upgrade uh, the wheel is a, a nice step up in build quality and transferring the, the feedback to the the great grips uh, yeah that's really a thing that stood out to me i, I tried uh, this wheel before at a customer with uh, the alcantara grips but uh, the way it feels with these grips it's it's uh, it's a huge step up like improving your uh, wheelbase uh, I think I've talked about uh, everything now uh, what I wanted to speak about if you have any questions please ask them uh, in the comments if you like this review please like and subscribe and as always thank you for watching and uh, see you in the next video